Hey guys, it's Filmer, and I got another uh, Halo 4 video for you, and this is a doubles game. And this is the point of view of Abrupt, and he's running with E-Frame, and they're playing against Bobby Bustay and uh, Bezel. And uh, these two guys that they're playing against are actually pretty good uh, Slayer kids. And they're actually playing on the map Solace, and it's kind of weird because I never posted up a Solace game before, especially a doubles game, and I honestly have no idea where any of the weapons actually spawn, but as you can see on the screen, uh, we actually know where all of them spawn. Um, speed boost is in the middle, railguns on the left side of the map, and um, there's a sticky detonator I think on the right side. But that was the first strike, and that took a while to get to the first strike, but uh, Abrupt's got a nice double kill to start it off with. And um, him and E-Frame have really good communications, and um, they they know exactly how to play this map. It's kind of weird because I've never seen them play together on this map, but you know they're very very good aggressive players, and uh, their callouts are definitely probably on point. Especially uh, Mike's uh, BR right there; his BR skills are pretty on point too. And uh, these guys tend to uh, lose some games, but barely. Um, like those games I probably will not post up, but they usually have really, really good games. And uh, that's why I love posting up these trial games. It kind of sucks that Mike and E-Frame are not really uh, playing competitive. Um, and you can't really play that competitive in uh, Halo, especially Halo 4. But, um, you know, like just watching these guys is, you can learn so much from these guys. And they're, they're actually really, really good. And it's kind of funny because they're just they're you know known for playing SWAT and that is where I've met them and they've always been good at, at playing uh, the Halo games and you know I like to uh, show this shit and it's, it's crazy like I'm just watching this stuff and sometimes I just don't understand how Mike is hitting these shots and I feel like what, what the hell am I doing wrong like every time I watch these guys play I always want to learn off them and I don't even need to watch a pro, because I honestly don't like um, the way certain pros play, even though they are super good. I just, you know, like, I, I get bored with watching uh, Ninja Stream after a while. I mean, he's good, but he just plays with fanboys, and I kind of just want to see how all people play together. And um, the best is probably uh, watching a 2v2 of people that you know that are really good. And I think uh, every time Bobby Bustay is looking at Abrupt, he's getting team shotted or just getting out strafed with Mike's BR. And uh, I've played against Bezel before. He, he's a, I mean, he's good. I'm sure he's good, but um, I think he might be a BTB kid. But I'm not, sh I'm not positive on that. Don't, don't quote me on that because I really don't know too much about him. I played against him a few times. That's about it. And uh, honestly, I didn't see anything special from him, but, you know, I, you know, there's only a few games, so you're never really going to know right off the bat. And uh, Mike always goes for speed boost, and you know what? Speed boost is really, really critical. I think it's probably the number one thing you should get besides the railgun. Uh, speed boost can definitely get you out of harm's way really quick. That is definitely a, a one thing you should always be pushing for. And, um, you know, it sucks that these guys are not really playing that much. So, I think it's because there's no uh, competition, and um, you know, I would like to see a game that's against more pros. I mean, these kids are like you know as close as you're gonna get to a pro. I mean, um, they're not pro material. Uh, they are pretty much pro material, but they're not labeled a pro. And you know what I like about posting up these videos is that I have no pros on my channel. They're all just really good players that uh, you know don't really get that that you know status of being pro or known but they're they're known in other playlists and you know that's good enough for me like that's you know that's that's pretty good if you're known in in a playlist and you're known for being good then you have a good chance of being on the channel and um i'm always gonna you know accept the video from eframe and abrupt just because i know how well they are as a player and uh they they're actually always impressing me with any video but, I mean, I'm trying to get other people that are really good out there, too. Um, people that I know. I'm not forcing anybody. I'm not even asking anybody. I just let them know I have a channel where I do commentaries for good players. And it's sad, but Halo is actually dying. And I don't want to say that, but it's true. It really is. Like, uh, I, 
was on, uh, I was playing last night, and there's nothing but people playing uh, GTA 5 and and uh, Halo Reach, and uh, the Halo Reach I really don't understand still. Um, I don't know why you would play Halo Reach instead of Halo 4, but, you know, that's probably all the, the other randoms that are playing it. Anyways, I'm not going to criticize them too much, but, yeah, when E-Frame and uh, Abrupt are running the other, it's, it's definitely a, a good game, and, and, Honestly, I would think, I, w I would think this game would be closer. When I when I heard that Brook was playing against these two guys, I would have thought it was closer. I know Bobby Boustay from Reach. Uh, he was a really he was a good um, Halo Reach tryhard player. Uh, he played a lot of Arena, so that's how I met him. And Brook got stuck there. It was, wasn't much he could do. Probably put shots on him instead of try to turn, but it, it doesn't matter. I mean. They're so far ahead right now. Uh, Bezel only has five kills, and Bobby Bustay only has five kills. Abrupt's got 15, and Eframe's got eight. It's too bad I can't look at their stats to you know talk about how many assists that they all got, because I'm sure they got a lot. But if you watch how these guys play, they're super fast, and the reaction time is really quick. And uh, just they're thinking about their next move like way ahead before these guys are. And and Brub's just gonna probably like chill back a little bit. He has one shot. I'm surprised he's trying to push a little, but that's probably because he frame is over there. But God, I, I love these tryhard games. I really I hope that there's people out there that have really good gameplay that's gonna impress me, so I can upload, you know, and get you out there. Um, I don't care about the pros, even if you're a pro and you want to be on the channel. That's that's cool, but um, that that never happens. And uh, I probably don't have a problem doing that, but I kind of actually like to watch kids that are not that good beat pros, because pros are not always the best. You're pro, but it doesn't mean you're the best. It doesn't mean that there's somebody out there that's not better than you. But this game was actually a really good game. I enjoyed watching it, and uh, Bezel and Bubba today definitely had a, a good try-hard game on their hands, and uh, that, that name was crazy. But I hope you guys did like that. That game was sick. It's a double game on Solace. Later, guys.